Hello and welcome to the Bundesliga predictions video. Now, obviously I'm recording this in where I've been recording all the videos recently. However, the, the original intro is still going to be in the video, but with, with Dad, we both predicted it. However, I messed up because I mentioned Dortmund Stadium name and I called it the wrong thing. I called it the name of Frankfurt Stadium by accident because obviously it's been a long week, I'm a bit tired. I meant to say the Westfalen Stadion or Signal Iduna Park, which is Dortmund Stadium, which is where they'll be playing Schalke. I said the Vaj Stadion, I believe, so apologies for that in advance. Hope you enjoy the video. This is going up on Friday, so hope you all have a good weekend and enjoy the German football. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now, yesterday, I hope you enjoyed the podcast. I did say we're doing a Bundesliga predictions video. That's coming on now. So we're going to predict all of the weekend's fixtures, which obviously is only in Germany. There's no English fixtures going on. Uh, we know... We know Limited knowledge of German football. I think the same for him because I know I know a few players and a few teams. Same same goes for Dad. But we're going to jump straight in and we're going to go for the derby match of the weekend with Dortmund facing Schalke at the Waldstadion. What do you think? Is that, how's, how's that going to go? Dortmund to win three one. You, you sound a bit a bit upset there, but I've gone for Dortmund to win two one. You going to sit forward? Sorry. Right. He's having a bit of a relaxation session. Um, but yeah, Dortmund, Haaland up front, Sancho and Brandt on the wings. Hazard there as well, obviously Hummels at the back. I think they're a very strong unit. Could challenge the Bayern eventually. Maybe even this year they could go for the title. Schalke, I don't, I don't really know a lot of players from there. But obviously Schalke, they're, 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 they're doing well. They're pushing on for Europe. I read a few funny tweets from the, uh, from the Schalke, not the official Twitter, but one of the Schalke group's Twitter, where they were tweeting, like, English teams should support us for these reasons. But yeah, Dortmund to win 2-1, I think. It's, it's going to happen. Anyway, we'll move on. Augsburg versus Wolfsburg. Who do you reckon is going to win that one? I've got 2-0 Wolfsburg. Two, I've got 3-1 Wolfsburg. So once again, same result, basically. Both got the same goal difference of 2 to Wolfsburg. Both got the same result for the winner. So, yeah, simple. Dusseldorf versus Paderborn now. With Dusseldorf the home team. I've gone for a 1-0 to Dusseldorf. Just thinking... Slightly better side. I think they're going to do it on the day with, with knowing the stadium, knowing how to play there, even without fans. How how do you predict yeah, that game? Uh, one all. You got one all for that one. Fair yeah. enough. I think they are fairly evenly matched teams, but I think this <laughs> off. Once again, we'll just edge it. Moving on, Hoffenheim versus Hertha Berlin. What, what, what have you got for that one? Uh, Hoffenheim to win two 0 You've gone you've gone two 0 to Hoffenheim, have you? Mm. Well, I've gone for a slightly different approach, and I've predicted that those two teams will draw one all. I just think they're evenly matched. Even though Hoffenheim are at home, they could either side could edge it by a goal, either side could win it by a couple of goals. You, we, don't, we simply don't know. At the minute, there's not going to be a lot of form involved in German football because they've been out for so long. But I'll, I'll predict a one all. I think bog standard result if the two sides are evenly matched. I'll go with this. I think this is the only draw I've predicted. I don't know what it's like for you, but yeah. Moving on, RB Leipzig are at home to Freiburg. What, what have you pred predicted for that one? 3-1 to um, RB Leipzig. Well, I've gone for an RB Leipzig win as well. Oh, the, the cat's joined us. I've gone for an R another RB Leipzig win. Just leave the cat alone. I've gone for an RB Leipzig win as well. I've gone 3-0. So I don't think Freiburg are going to score. You think they are? I'm not sure what they're like in attack, <coughs> what they're like in defence. I just know that Leipzig have got a couple of good players. They've obviously got a good, fairly good attack. They've got a lot of money involved. So I just think Leipzig would like to leg that one. Leave the cat alone. It's annoying me. <laughs> cat's always annoying. Anyway, moving on, we've got Frankfurt taking on Munchen Gladbach. Well, how do you reckon that's going to go down? Uh, I've got two. Fair enough. I mean, Munchen Gladbach have, have turned into a very good side over the couple, last couple of years. I think Munchen Gladbach are going to edge it. I reckon they're going to beat them 2 1. Obviously, as the away team, anything could happen. The home team could feel a bit more comfortable with the home stadium. It could, Munchen Gladbach could be doing well because of fans, obviously not involved. Don't know. I'm just going to go for a 2 1 to them. Moving on, we've got Cologne facing Mines, with Cologne being the home team. Who, what have you gone for that one? 2-0 uh, to Cologne. Well, I'm going to shake your hand here, because uh, we, hand we agree on that one. Oh, sorry, yeah. The first agreement of the video, Cologne 2, Mines 0, I've gone, you've gone for the same result. Yeah. I think Cologne are just a stronger side all round than Mines are. Mines are struggling, Cologne are doing alright mid-table. I reckon Cologne are going to edge it. Anyway, now for Union Berlin, they're facing Bayern Munich at home. What have you what have you gone for that one? I've gone uh, for four one. So have I. Four one Bayern oh, Munich. We'll I shake again. We're doing well. I think the Bayern Munich run right, too much class all over the pitch. Um Lewandowski, Gnabry, Muller, I mean they just front to back, great side. 
Um, and I'm taking at the back. I'm taking a bit old now, aren't you? But, yeah, still, still there. Yeah, I think Brian will smash him 4 1. Kimmich as well. Yeah, I've gone 4 1 as well. You've got good good defence. I reckon Union will, will breach it, but they've got a good defence, solid unit, good goalkeeper, <laughs> good attack, good midfield. They're all round good. Probably the best team in Germany at the minute. Top of the league. Union will be mid table. I'm just not seeing the fact that Union will could close that gap. Right, the, the, the final fixture of the, the weekend being played on Monday night, I believe. Sees Werder Bremen take on Leverkusen at home. What, what have you gone for that one? I've got by Leverkusen, the away team winning 2 1. Well, I've gone a bit more heavy to let by Leverkusen side. I've, I've predicted them to win 3 0. I think, obviously, they, I think we both see them as they're going to win. I just think they're going to be a bit more at, like batter, batter the team, so to say. I think they're going to be a lot stronger than Werder Bremen are. Obviously, you've predicted them to win as well, so you predict mm. they're going to be stronger. I think they're just going to go that little bit further and get a couple of goals and, not, and keep a clean sheet. So, anyway, that's our predictions. couple we agreed on, couple we disagreed on. Mainly, we've, we've got the same kind of viewpoints on them all. But, you know, um, it's a point if we get the correct result. It's three points if we get the correct goals. So, say I predicted a 3-0. If it was 3-0, I'd get the points. Mm. If, it, if I predicted a 3-0, it was 2-0, I'd get one point. And uh, we'll, we'll come back once all the fixtures have been played and we'll uh, discuss how many points we got, how we, how we got on and uh, same video we'll go out next week on predicting next week's fixtures. So I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. How many likes we get on this video? 15. 15, 15 likes on this video down below and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.